what's going on youtube this is abhyuday shukla and in this video we are going to have a tutorial on how to add or connect to a database with your asp based website or simply your asp based web page using webmetrics 3 and the database provided by the webmetrics 3 that's from microsoft is sql server compact database somewhat like that to begin with i am going to hop to new and create an empty site so that every file in the directory will be already made for me yeah, I just have to hop to the database in the lower left corner and over here I will click to add a database to my website Microsoft web metrics takes care of everything you just have to make a simple table and at first you have to name your table I mean your database so let's name it something awesome my DB that's the dumbest name which I'm calling awesome now I want to add a table to this MyDB database so I'm going to click on new table and let's assume the table name is users and in my organization or in my website a user has an ID and yes which is a number for now and a name as well can't spell yeah and I want ID to be a primary key so I'm checking it over here that's all I think and I'm going to save my table design at first I want to add some data to my table so just click on this data tab over here and let's enter some data to it since ID is a numeric field so I'm going to enter 201 that's a random number given by me Aman is my nickname and yes 202 can't spell my name don't know what happened okay so we now have a database named as mydb and inside this database resides a table called users which has two records in it and we want to display these two records on our browser using a web page and that web page is to be written in classical asp what this tutorial is all about so let's hop to the file section and i'm going to create a new file yes obviously classic asp and i'm going to name this file default I think the spelling is wrong what's happening to me I'm not able to write spellings okay well, let's click OK I'll be supplied with some raw code over here I'm going to delete it because I've already written a code just to make this tutorial short and quick so I'm going to explain everything line by line hope I don't make any mistake in explaining or using the terminologies still if anything you can correct me by your comments and what ever written inside this highlighted part is the ASP code and at first this takes care of creating connection with the database however first two lines are mandatory and do make a note of provider since I'm using SQL server compact database so this is a provider that I have to hard code into it so if you're using MS access you can always follow the links given in the description in the following line I am going to open a connection with my database since my database resides in folder app data and then uh, my DB SDF that's the database file and app data folder resides in the same directory as where my default ASP that's the web page resides so I have to provide this path like this so don't go into that details if you don't know much about it just copy this example and I think we should leave this line because this pretty much creates an object and makes RS to get ready to hold all the records or the results set returned by the execution of a query. At the next line we are going to execute a query and all the result set or the reference to the result set is going to be returned to RS starting with the first. So my query is select all from users where all only has two users so that's okay for now to make this tutorial short again what we are doing by this part piece of code is do until loop traverses each record one by one whereas for loop is nested inside do while and it traverses field of each record one by one so first i'm going to display name of field and what's the value for that very record the br tag and all this is for housekeeping stuff for my web page to look good and then we are going to close everything nicely 
this completes our ASP code. I think now it's time to execute this web page. Simply save it by name of default.asp and make sure your path through database is all correct. And then you, you can click on run. And there we are. Everything is looking pretty sweet since there were only two records in our table. So it displayed only two. You can even add them and execute your queries as you want. Uh, they, uh, they can be hard coded over here. So thank you for watching my video guys. If it really helped you, do share it with your friends and hopefully family members if they are interested in getting things connected with the database. Uh, probably you might sound annoying to them if you do so. But yeah, this is Abhidesh Shukla signing out. Bye bye.